So today we're checking out the brand new line out from Fender, uh, the American Performer Series. I always think when I'm trying a new bass line out, it's the first thing that I think anyone's going to think about whenever they're trying a bass, whether it's new or old, is like, is it fun to play? Is it something that feels good to you? Does it inspire you to play um, new things or the same things better? Or is it just, does it just feel good? And right out of the box, um, very minimal setup into these things. They're just fun to play. I mean, I'm a Fender player. Um, you know, I live and die with the P bass, man. And uh, this felt at home. Um, it, it felt really good to play right away. So, you know, a lot of fun. Um, and got some really familiar tones with like kind of a new twist on them a little bit. Um, so this is the precision bass. Uh, there's four different colors as you'll see in the other shot. Um, this is Satin Lake Placid Blue. Um, it's also in a three-tone sunburst or three-color sunburst. Olympic White and uh, Penny, which is kind of a burgundy, kind of sparkly, kind of mist thing going on there. Um, inch and five ace at the nut, super familiar. Uh, satin finish on the neck and on the headstock, oversized headstock on these guys. Um, at least it is on, I think it's maybe the same thing that's normally on bases. Anyway, it looks really good. Um, and like I said, this is Satin Lake Placid, so no fingerprints, man. That's a bonus. You know, you're on, you're on the stage with the lights glaring on you. Don't, no one's seeing all those nasty fingerprints on there. Not that that bothers me because it shows that you're playing. But nonetheless, um, cool little option there. Um, like I said, engine 5 eighths, 9 and a quarter radius. So modern C profile on the neck. So everything's really very Fender-ish, nothing, as it should be. Um, great price point that pops out for an American-made instrument. So if you're a beginner or an intermediate player that wants to step into an American-made instrument, this makes it you know, a few hundred dollars more accessible to you. Um, if you're a pro player that you know, might already own American-made instruments or high-end instruments, this is a nice gigging bass that you're not afraid to sort of be rough with and take out, travel with, because um, you know, it is a little bit less expensive. Um, in, in typical Fender P bass mold, no frills. But you will notice one big, big thing here is this pickup right here. It's got a jazz bass pickup in it. Now that's stock in the line. And opinion, I love that. My main bass is an, is an older American standard that has a P and a J in it, passive. Um, the only other P and J stuff you can get is like Elite or Deluxe that is active and passive. So it gives you that option for having active. Um, for my personal playing style, the gigs that I play a lot of, the sessions that I do, the recording sessions, um, passive tends to work better. I'm big into effects. They tend to interact with um, pedals in a more uniform fashion. So I like passive. Um, the added weight that something that's active and passive gives you with having the battery in there and the additional electronic components isn't necessarily worth it to me. That's just me. Um, but anyway, this is a great, great addition that they're doing here. Stock on the P-Bass model is adding the J-Bass pickup. Um, Tone-wise, the thing that I played at the intro was just the P-Bass pickup. Very, very, very P-Bass-ish, obviously. <laughs> woody, round, really fat sounding. Now when I start to bring in that J bass pickup, and we'll just go wide open on both, you're gonna hear a little bit more top end and a little bit of articulation to it. Might want to like roll the tone back just a bit on that. If you're going for the slap thing, that's gonna you know that's gonna add a nice dimension to getting that modern kind of slap tone. Um, and then just the J pickup, you're gonna get the. The same harmonic things I play in all of my videos. Can't get away from it, man. And if you're playing, you know, the finger style stuff back there. That's all jazz bass. That's all bridge jazz bass sound right there.
and like I said, together. Um, this particular model I'm playing here, obviously with a bright neck, you're noticing that's maple, so that's gonna be a little bit brighter. Uh, I'll be right back and I'll show you the rosewood stuff. Uh, so now I got the rosewood one in my hand, uh, near and dear to my heart, because this is exactly like my bass that I play at my old American Standard, except mine has a jazz bass neck on it. Um, exactly like the blue one that I was just playing, except with the rosewood. So we're going to start just with the P bass pickup. Uh, that's it. Tone at about 75, 80, about closer to 80. Uh, I'll play kind of the same thing, and you'll hear a little less top end to it. Um, and a little bit more warmth that you get out of the rosewood. Yeah, it sounds great, man. I mean, blast play. And also another note that I noticed when switching bases, they're both really, really light, uh, which is cool. It's kind of the fad right now. Everyone wants lighter weight basses, um, including myself. If I'm playing a three hour gig. I don't want an 11 pound instrument on my shoulders. It just starts to kill you. Um, I, the professional in me tells me this is probably around eight and a half, nine pounds, maybe lighter than that, actually. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'd say closer to eight, eight and a half. So we're bringing the J pickup. You're going to notice that articulation kind of pop through again. Yeah, really bright. I would like to roll that tone off a little bit for my taste. Maybe a little more. And then just a J pickup again. So yeah, I mean, it, it gives you everything that you need. Great gigging bass, great bass for a pro, great bass for an intermediate player, great bass for someone that's just beginning that might have a little more budget than, than some people. But you get yourself into an American-made bass at a really comfortable price point. Um, they really, really play nice. Uh, no hard shell case. They do come with gig bags. So that's one sort of difference that you're going to see um, from a gear perspective from the American Pro Series. Um, but a very, very at-home feeling bass and an absolute joy to play. Like I said, anytime you get a new bass or a new line, <clears throat> is it fun? These definitely fit the bill. Um, so you can check them out online at uh, empiremusiconline.com. You can call me personally at the shop, 412-343-5299. Uh, I'll talk bass with you all day. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.